Hi, this is Dee, and I hope you're doing great. So we have the Fool, and the Fool brings the message of unexpected opportunities. So if this message resonates with you, you are being encouraged to be ready for the unexpected opportunities that are presented to you. You don't have time or you will not have the time to evaluate, analyze, obtain um, all the details, make a strategic plan. You won't have the time because the opportunities will just come out of the blue. They're going to be unexpected and you need to be ready and prepared to make a decision on a whim and know that whatever the opportunity is that's presented to you is for your greatest and highest good. So if you've been praying, saying affirmations, vision boards, creating vision boards, um, submitting petitions, whatever you've been doing that um, represent your desire for opportunities that's going to help you now and also in the future, this is it. They're, they're coming your way if it hasn't already begun. But you just have to trust the divine and go with the flow. You have to have the faith to just take a step into the unknown. That's what the fool is doing. He's out on this journey and he doesn't know who or what's going, who he's going to meet or what's going to happen. He's just excited to be on the journey. He's dancing around and he has no idea where he's going. He has no idea who he's going to encounter. He has no idea about the multiple opportunities that will be presented to him, but he's ready for it. And so I feel like you are being encouraged to be ready too. And so we see that the fool has his companion with him, which is representative of him having um, guidance to protect him from walking off the cliff. So if he would become too close to a cliff, to possibly walk off the companion the dog is there to warn him no you're going in the wrong direction don't go that way and so I feel that you will need to make sure that you're paying attention to the divine to the spiritual insight your intuitive nudges as you move forward and know that as you're guided, that's the direction in which you should go in. Don't change the direction. Don't veer off. And so, um, like the fool on this journey who doesn't know who he's going to meet, you have no idea what the opportunities that are presented to you will be will will have in store for you. Like you have no idea who you will meet and how they will impact your life. But it's going to be for the greatest and highest good though. And so um, what's symbolic to that is that the headpiece of the fool has the representation of the cups, the wands, the pentacles, and also the swords which are all found in the tarot and they're all symbolic to the elements and the zodiac signs and so that is a clear indication that you have no idea who you're going to meet you're going to meet multiple people so for example the wands represent the elements of fire which is symbolic to the zodiac signs of aries leo and sagittarius then we have the cups the cups represent water water is symbolic to the zodiac signs of cancer scorpio and pisces then there's the swords swords represent the air element which is the libras the gemini's and the aquarius zodiac signs then we have the pentacles which represents the earth which is symbolic to the zodiac signs of Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So see, you don't know who you're going to 
interact with, meet who's going to present you the opportunities because all the zodiac signs are represented, represented here. So the fool, while he's on his journey, if you know the story behind the fool's journey, you know he's going to meet the, um, the emperor, he's going to meet the Hierophant, he's going to meet the magician, right? He's going to meet the empress, he's going to meet the, um, um, who else is he going to meet on the journey? I just drew a blank. <laughs> who else does he meet on the journey? I can't recall, recall everyone, but you get what I'm saying. He's going to meet all those individuals on their journey, on his journey, and they're going to all be able to assist and guide him and give him wisdom and create opportunities. So be open to whomever the divine sends your way and accept the opportunity. Um, and be childlike. You see how the imp the emperor, the fool is just dancing around. He has on all these vibrant, beautiful colors, vibrating highly. He's just happy and joyful without a care. So children are like that as well. They're just so carefree. They don't put too much thought into anything. And so you're being encouraged to be carefree, be childlike. And so um, I think like a good example of being childlike is like, for example, a child. If you were to take your keys right now and tell a child they could drive your car, they would not hesitate to take those keys because they really think they could drive the car. And they would be so quick to go out and... Uh, start your car without thinking about the fact that number one, they're underage and are not authorized to drive, that they could possibly cause a car accident, or that the police officials would intervene and stop them. They don't think about all of those uh, things that could happen. They just know that I have an opportunity and I'm taking the opportunity and I'm not worried about anything else. So you're being encouraged to be childlike. Accept the opportunities and go with the flow. And allow the divine to lead and guide you. Be open. Be receptive. You've prayed and fasted and said affirmations, mantras, vision board. You did all the work. So be open and prepared to receive your blessing your opportunities. So not just a blessing, I take that back, blessings and opportunities, because that's what they are. And look at the sun shining through. Look at the sun shining through. That tells you that everything that's happening is amazing and it's great opportunities for you. And it it's all, again, for your greatest and highest good. Nothing but good could come out of this. Nothing but good. Everything the, sh the sun shines on is beautiful. It's amazing. And, uh, oh yeah, so we have the number zero. And so we know the number zero is a representative of uh, the cycles of life and also the number zero doesn't have a beginning or an ending, you know, like the alpha and the omega. It's just never ending. It's constantly going. And so is the journey of life. It's constantly going. It keeps revolving. And so I feel like that's also symbolic to the endless opportunities that the divine will present to you. It's completely up to you if you want to accept them and move forward. So now is not the time to be fearful or to feel that you can't um, accomplish 
what you desire if you take the opportunity without all the details just go for it just go for it everything's gonna work out for your greatest and highest good it's going to work out the divine will never fail you never ever ever fail you and certainly the divine will never set you up to fail ever never ever okay so i hope this has been helpful to you and um take the opportunities that are presented doesn't matter who or when or where the opportunities come from know that they're divine and go for it it's for your greatest and highest good okay all right well thank you for watching i will talk with you soon bye